Here you can see the fermentation process at work. Here is my conclusion. Home winemaking has become very popular. That is why this experiment is current and fun. The steps in winemaking are very specific, and if repeated exactly, will return similar results. The working hypothesis was, as white grape juice contains more sugar than the other three juices in the study, cranberry, apple, and pineapple, the expectation would be that the white grape juice would ferment more quickly and have a lower specific gravity level during the primary fermentation period, 14 days, and to reach a higher alcohol level percentage of volume by the end of the final fermentation period, 31 days. 
This experiment valid this hypothesis. Wine yeast, sugar, temperature, and fruit nutrients are all important in producing wine. In researching this topic, white grape juice has nutrients that are needed by the yeast so the yeast can easily multiply. The other fruit juices do not have these nutrients, which is probably why grapes are the primary source of producing wine. There are now nutrient packages available that can be added to fruit juices of any kind to create unusual wines, like plum wine, kumquat wine, and watermelon wine. The choices are limitless. Cheers!